Mars is the first planet we as humans would like to travel to besides Earth. The Moon is the closest celestial body to us, but Mars presents endless possibilities to serve as a second home for humanity in the future. That is why a lot of money and time has been invested in its exploration for years, in some cases since the 1960s and 1970s. Our red neighbor could be a good place to live in many respects if we can explore certain conditions. But what exactly has been found on Mars in recent years and decades? How exactly is Mars structured, and what does its geography and atmosphere tell us about life here? What secrets does the planet still hold for science? This and more is explained in this video. Are you fascinated by mysterious things and incredible discoveries? Then give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Hidden Worlds, and join us on our adventure. Mars and Water there has always been speculation that there was flowing water on Mars. One of the greatest proofs of this are the probably dried up riverbeds and lakes, in some places even huge oceans which have engraved themselves into the surface. In earlier times when there were no precise telescopes and space probes, there was even speculation as to whether these were not real lakes and rivers. However, this was only due to the technology of the time. There was no liquid water on Mars in the past or today but perhaps there was many thousands or millions of years ago. Water is a known condition that favors life in the universe. After all, we also once came from the sea and evolved over thousands of years until we finally became the humans we are today. Past water on Mars is therefore an interesting and important observation. Incidentally, Mars still has frozen ice at the poles. However, there is no trace of liquid residue. Scientists assume that, on the one hand, the small size of the planet and its weather are responsible for the fact that there is currently no flowing water on the surface of Mars. This is mainly due to the low pressure of the atmosphere, which is only around 1% of the pressure on Earth. It is probably evaporated or retreated to the poles. Two Opposing Hemispheres Another interesting observation of Mars is the two geographically very different hemispheres of the planet. A topographical map clearly shows how the northern part is dominated by flatland, while the southern part is characterized by high mountains and volcanoes. The division runs almost down the center of Mars' equator. But where do these two regions come from, and what conclusions can we draw from them? Could this division provide clues to the early history of the planet? There are various theories for this, but none of them have yet been confirmed with 100% probability. The research is difficult to follow, as we still lack the necessary resources in some cases. One theory speculates that a larger object probably crashed into the south pole of Mars and thus promoted volcanic activity in the south of the planet. The molten rocks then form the mountains and valleys of the southern hemisphere, which can still be recognized distinctly today. The still hot lava then flowed northwards and formed the upper half of the planet relatively flat, overlaying the existing geographical features, so to speak. Sometimes, however, internal processes are also held responsible for the topography. For example, plate tectonics similar to those on Earth are said to have existed in the past. These also led to volcanic activity and formed the two distinct hemispheres. However, there is no precise evidence to date that there has ever been a shifting of plates on Mars. How exactly the two different halves were formed is still unclear. What produces methane in the Martian atmosphere? Methane is an important fuel that could be used for future Mars missions. With sufficient methane production on Mars, rockets could be refueled and sent back to Earth. In the early 2000s, methane was actually detected in the atmosphere of the Red Planet. Many believed at the time that this was an indication of possible microorganisms. After all, some of these organisms could produce methane, just like we do on Earth. This was considered a plausible theory that could confirm life on Mars. The other possibility is that the methane has a geological origin and has entered the atmosphere from the surface. Research on Mars was compared with methane found in Greenland. This was trapped deep in the ice for many thousands of years, but could be detected. It was produced by smaller microbes, a subcategory of bacteria. By comparison with the extreme conditions on Mars, it is also possible that the methane in the atmosphere was produced by the same bacteria. It would be possible for them to survive there. However, it is questionable whether these organisms still exist today, 
or whether only the methane has survived. However, detailed research is still being carried out to solve the mystery of methane on Mars. Was life on Mars discovered in the 1970s? The scientific exploration of Mars goes way back to the 1970s. In 1976, the so-called Viking mission was launched and the Orbiter 1 probe flew to Mars to take better pictures of the surface. The black and white images that the probe brought back from orbiting the planet caused quite a stir at the time. Allegedly, a human face was found engraved on the surface of Mars. There were also other structures that resembled pyramids. More than 20 years later, in 1998, new high-resolution images of the surface were taken by the Mars Global Surveyor mission. Then came the disillusionment that the previously recognized structures were nothing more than normal rock formations. We humans just have a tendency to want to read something into images. This will not be the last time in the history of Mars. At the same time, biological experiments were carried out in 1976 to prove the activity of microorganisms on the surface. The results were supposedly positive, but NASA has not yet been able to confirm this. Further attempts to repeat the experiment have not been successful. It was therefore labeled a false positive. Speculation continues as to the extent to which these results are really meaningful. Scientifically, of course, the experiment must be repeatable, otherwise it is considered negative. So far, however, there has been no further evidence of residues of living organisms on the surface of Mars. Methane Secret Methane on Mars seems to be the best way of detecting possible life. After all, we can compare these processes with those on Earth, where much of the methane is produced by the digestion of organisms and released into the atmosphere. Why should this work differently on Mars? Of course, there are no cows or sheep on Mars that produce methane, but as already mentioned, it can also be produced by bacteria. Scientists from all over the world do not yet agree on how much methane actually exists in the Martian atmosphere. There are different estimates. While the NASA rover Curiosity, for example, is said to have found sources of methane, the ESA orbiter is still researching for it in vain. Moreover, the proportion of methane seems to fluctuate again and again, as sometimes there are no or hardly any signs, and later, large, very large quantities. Discovery of the Mars Rovers not only in the 1970s, but also today, people like to speculate when the Mars rovers send pictures back to Earth. Just recently, a photo of the Perseverance rover attracted a lot of attention. There, between a few rock formations, something silver seemed to be sticking out. Of course, many people always hope to find such evidences of other life. However, NASA quickly put a damper on these theories. The silver and dotted object was merely a part of the rover itself or rather its landing module. It is a heat protection blanket that probably fell off during the landing of the red planet some time ago and got tangled up between the rocks. Due to the sometimes strong winds on Mars, the blanket seems to have moved more than two kilometers away from the runway. The gate on Mars? The other rover from Mars, Curiosity, also took a controversial picture this year and sent it to Earth. Here, between the orange-red sand and rock formations, some internet users were able to discover a kind of entrance or gateway which appears to lead deeper into the mountain. Speculation about ancient ruins naturally arose immediately, but here too, NASA was quick to act and put these theories to rest. It is simply a matter of the natural erosion on the planet. The hole is said to be less than a meter in size, which is difficult to see in the image. As already mentioned, the winds on Mars are very strong. It is definitely possible that just a piece of the rock has come loose and formed the entrance. Even here on Earth, it is not uncommon for perfectly smooth surfaces to naturally break away from mountains. It is rare, but quite possible. Mars has many secrets that make it the perfect planet for science. It is close enough to Earth that missions are possible and research can be advanced quickly. Various rovers are now living on the red planet, and it is also being orbited and studied by several probes. Another possible stage is the landing of the first humans on Mars, which may happen in the 2030s. Until then, the surface and atmosphere will continue to be studied. What do you think? Would it be possible to live on Mars in the long term? 
Which mystery of the Red Planet interests you the most? Leave a comment below the video, and thank you for watching.